Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at the Salsa Journeyer. Well, hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. And if you're new to this channel, well, just know that we are all about little adventures that you can do yourself. And one of our favorite ways of exploring is by cycling, whether that's checking out new trails, uh, checking out new bike equipment, or even new bikes themselves. We know that there is an adventure always out there somewhere. So if that sounds like you and the things you're into, do us a favor and hit that like and subscribe button. That really helps us out a lot. And there's a whole lot of videos on our channel. Be sure and go and check those out of riding trails, uh, different adventures, and all kinds of different things, including several bike reviews. Well, today we have a brand new bike to review, but something's a little bit different about this one. You see, in the past, a lot of bikes that I have reviewed uh, were on loan to me, but this bike is here to stay. That's right, it's new bike day for me, and I have added the Salsa Journeyer to our stable. So let me tell you why I chose the Salsa Journeyer over several other bikes. It had to do with the feel that I got when I rode the bike for the first time. I don't know about you, but have you ever like tried on a new pair of shoes or maybe if you're a musician, you pick up a guitar and just the way that it feels or even maybe test riding a new car, just something about it that just puts a smile on your face. And that is exactly what the Salsa Journeyer did for me. When I first rode it, I just found myself smiling and it was just a great feeling bike. And that's when I knew that I wanted to have this bike. And that's exactly how Salsa intended it to be with their all new redesigned, partially re-engineered Journeyman, which is now known as the Journeyer series. They wanted to attract all types of riders to give them some options to be able to introduce them into the world of gravel bike and all road riding. Now, the 2022 Journeyer was developed to be your all around, all road, uh, versatile workhorse with a whopping different 18 builds. 18 different builds available from anywhere around just a little over $1,000 up to almost $3,000 depending on the components that you get. Now, it can be both your 700C or 650B gravel bike, and it's available in drop bar and flat bar options. So as you can see, with all the different options, uh, this thing was designed to attract all types of riders into the world of gravel and all-road riding. Well, okay guys, I'm gonna give you a regular guy's review because I am not a professional cyclist. I'm just a guy like many of you out there who just loves to ride his bike. And I'm one that likes to ride it on gravel. I love to ride mountain bike trails, pavement, you name it. I just love to ride my bike and I just love bikes. And so I always start with what gets my attention first and that is the aesthetics of the bike. How does the bike look? And then how does it ride and how does it feel? And just looking at this bike, this is a great looking bike. I mean, I just love the design of this bike, the way it's constructed, the way they've put together the triangles and the components and everything. It is just, it's a great bike. You can see it's a very high quality from the welds, from all the different uh, efforts that's been put into this bike. It's just an overall high quality bike that for me, checks all the boxes and has all the bells and whistles you could possibly want. Now the Salsa Journeyer comes in about 12 different colors depending on the build that you get. For me, the price point of this particular bike was perfect. I was already familiar with the various components that it has and I just like black bikes. Now Salsa starts out by using its 6061 T6 heat treated aluminum uh, tubing for this frame that's designed specifically for this particular bike and it's coupled with their wax wing carbon fork which gives you some more compliance on those gravel roads or rough roads. Also including in that is a more relaxed geometry which gives you that, that kind of that all day comfort and, and confidence in the bike so that you can really spend a lot of time in the saddle. 
It also has some great quality components, as we mentioned earlier, depending on your style of riding and what suits you best. And then last but not least, it has internal cable routing so that if you want, you can add a dropper post to this later or even a dynamo hub. So they've really thought of a lot of different things uh, and a lot of efforts gone into the design of this bike to be attractive to a lot of different riders. You know, the way a bike looks is one thing, but the way it rides and feels is a totally different thing. So let's get this beauty out where she belongs. Add on some gravel or add on some trails where she really shines. And I put together some riding footage for you so you can see the bike in action. Well guys, as you can see, this bike is a whole lot of fun to ride. I could spend hours and hours on this bike. That's because it's so well balanced between the handlebars and the geometry, all the different components. It's just a great bike to spend hours and hours in the saddle. It's not a speed rocket, but at the same time, it's also not a beach cruiser. So it's one of those kind of bikes that you can just spend all day out on gravel roads, out on trails, anything off road or even on road, just for many hours of enjoyment. And that's before even doing any upgrades. I haven't done anything to the bike yet other than add a water bottle and, and maybe my uh, tool set, but that's about it. And it's just so, so very comfortable. And part of that is because of these wide handlebars that it has, as well as uh, the ability for larger tires, uh, the relaxed geometry. But the other thing too, is this bike comes with all kinds of mounts. As you can see here on the fork, we have uh, three mounts on the, on the front, but it has mounts also for fenders, for racks, uh, for top tube accessories, for your water bottles, for undercage. It's just got everything. I mean, you can really set this thing up if you wanted to go out gravel riding, if you want to go out bike packing, or even if you want to use this commuting. It's just got everything that I really like in a bike, and it's so easy to upgrade and it's just an awesome bike. I don't know, what do you think? Do you think I really like this bike? <laughs> you would be correct. So now let's take a look at some of the components and the features that the Salsa Journeyer has to offer. All right, the build I have is the 700C Shimano Sora, which is kind of in the middle of all the various builds. And I chose the Sora because it fit my budget and I'm already familiar with this two x nine speed group set from other bikes that I've already owned. And so up front, this group set has the Shimano Sora R3000 front derailleur working with the Shimano MT210 46 by 30 tooth crank set and it has 170 length cranks, which is great for shorter guys like me. And then the rear derailleur is a Shimano Sora R3000 with a medium cage connected with a Shimano HD211 by 34 tooth 9 speed cassette. And of course, all of this is controlled by Shimano Sora R3000 shifters. And this particular build came with a KMC X9 chain. So now let's look at the brake set. This build comes with mechanical or cable actuated disc brakes, which are Tektro's MDC 550 brakes that come standard with 160 millimeter rotors. And of course, these are integrated into the Shimano Sora levers. Mechanical brakes require you to be a little bit more aggressive with the lever but I still prefer these disc brakes over rim brakes any day. And another thing that I like about this is that 
They're flat mounted so you can easily upgrade to 180 millimeter rotors if you really want more stopping power, which I'm probably going to be doing since I plan to use this bike for bike packing. Now the Salsa Journeyer comes with a great wheel set. I got this bike with Terravel Washburn tires that are 700C by 38 millimeter. And so far I found these to be decent tires with pretty good grip in the hard pack, even some sand and some muddy conditions. And I've since upgraded to some Maxxis 700 by 50 tires to get a little bit more traction in softer gravel. But Salsa says you can get up to 2.4 inch tires on this bike in the 650B wheel configuration. Now this build came with WTB ST i23 700C tubeless ready rims. All you have to do is change out the stems. And they have 23 millimeter inner width which is perfect for today's gravel tires. And all of these are mounted on a WTB Sarah 12 by 100 millimeter hub in the front and a WTB HD 10 12 by 142 millimeter hub in the rear. And I love that it comes with these 12 millimeter through axles, which keeps the frame nice and stiff for improved tracking. And that also translates into more consistent braking and less rotor hub than what you would get with a quick release axle. The cockpit of the Salsa Journeyer has a lot to offer and is another reason why I really love this bike, such as the Salsa Cowbell Bar designed with gravel riding in mind. It features a 12 degree flare and a 12 degree drop angle that puts your hands and wrists and arms in a very natural and comfortable position. And I love this bar and this particular one is 440 millimeters wide which varies depending on the frame size. But whether I'm ascending or descending, plowing through sand or even single track, it's just wide enough that I always feel in control and confident when handling this bike. This bike also comes with a WTB Volt saddle with steel rails mounted on Salsa's 27.2 by 350 millimeter guide seat post. And so far I've really enjoyed this saddle. WTB is known for its quality and I can certainly tell the difference in comfort with this particular saddle. And then to finish it off, I'm running this with flat pedals. Well guys, thanks for joining me here with this review of the Salsa Journeyer. I hope it's been useful and beneficial for you. And as you can see, if you're considering a Salsa Journeyer as your next bike, well, you certainly can't go wrong. So thanks so much for being here. If you're not a subscriber, would you please hit that subscription button or give us a thumbs up? That would really help us a lot. Have a great day. We'll see you in the next video.